Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching Explore with Alex. I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm going to take you to another campground that it's in Oceanside, California. And this one, they just renovated all the sites. They have full hookups. Now this place has a park and a campground. It's called the Wahomey Regional Park and Campground and in Oceanside, of course. And it does have a lake and two ponds. So if you want to go fishing and they also have plenty of trails that you can go hiking, walking around. There's also historic museums that are right around the corner. Uh, so there's plenty of things to do out there. I'm gonna take you around. Hopefully you like it. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel and I appreciate every single one of you. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you. Welcome to Guahomi Regional Park and Campground. It's located in the coastal community of Oceanside. Just eight miles from the Pacific Ocean, the park and campground is a great place to visit year round and it's close to many natural and historic point of interest. The park and campground is operated by San Diego County Parks and Recreation. Visitors and campers can enjoy the park that's next door and enjoy fishing and hiking. Park has two ponds and a marsh. The campground has 33 tent and RV campsites and a pavilion. Also a rustic cabin for those wishing to extend their stay overnight. This is a great place for RVs, trailers, and tent camping. Reservations to the campground can be made up to one year in advance. Maximum RV length here is 45 feet. Campsites have recently been upgraded to include full hookups at all sites. Water, sewer, and electric. Looking to go fishing while you're camping? Then try your luck fishing for carp, largemouth bass, black bullhead, catfish, and bluegill. Whether you like to camp, have a picnic, do some hiking, fish, or ride your bike using the nature trails, or simply relax and enjoy the day, this 394 acres park has a little something for everyone. The park is super clean and very well maintained. The actual park rangers drive around often to make sure people who aren't supposed to be there aren't, but they are very friendly. Let me tell you a little bit about this place. Originally home to the Luiseno tribe of Mission Indians, the area became part of the Mission San Luis Lay in 1978 before being consolidated into the 1845 Rancho Guajome land grant by the Mexican government. The County of San Diego purchased the land to establish a public park in 1973. The park is 394 acre and it has nearly five miles of trails. The park amenities include a campground, a rustic cabin, outdoor game and fitness spaces, a playground, a picnic areas and amphitheater. The southern section of the park is primarily a marshy grassland populated with coastal sagebrush and Mexican fan palms. Relics of the irrigation system that created the marsh in 1940s can still be seen. The park attracts a large variety of birds. This here is the overflow parking. The park is just right next door. That's the main entrance out there. And this is the camping area. This here is a campground pavilion and you can rent it out to do events when you're camping as well. Or if you're here in the park, you can rent this and they have tables there and everything you can uh, rent it out. All campsites are $33 a night and they all come with full hookups. When you make your reservation, they will charge you $5 for a reservation fee. Check-in time is 2 p.m. and check-out time is noon. So 
So to your right, or going straight actually, it's site 18 to 33, and then campsites one through 17. I noticed that all sites have a lot of shade. Lots of trees to enjoy the nice breeze from the coastal area. No fires after 11 p.m. and no generator use is permitted. Quiet hours here is 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. So camping here is $33 a night for full hookups. And then they also have 10 camping between $22 and $24. The campsites have electric, 30, 20, 15, and 50 amps. Strong cell phone coverage using Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Lots of space if you want to put a tent back there and you have shade. And then it comes with the picnic table. Long enough, like I said, for an RV. Also extra parking right here for a vehicle. And then it has your fire pit and of course the table. This one's pretty good. It does have a lot of shade in between here, the trees. If TV satellite is important, then you may be restricted to certain sites due to many trees blocking the signal. Wahomi is a beautiful country park and campground that allows for the feel of an escape to nature with easier access than a trip to the mountains. This is just a beautiful park and campground to spend an afternoon hiking or for those looking for just a quick weekend or overnight campsite. Did I mention it's clean? It feels safe here and it also has a nice atmosphere for the whole family. The actual park that's right next to the campground has a nice shaded playground for the kids to play. You may also want to enjoy walking around the lake and the pond. All the walking trails are well kept. This guy, what they did, they actually put, looks like salt. That's for ants. A lot of privacy. This is good. A lot of people like privacy when they go camping. I also want to point out that they have a free dump station here. Wahomi Regional Park and Campground is also close to town. Also bars and shopping. About 15 to 20 minutes to downtown Oceanside and the beach. They also have showers and restrooms. Showers uses quarters. 50 cents for a four minute shower. Okay, this is great because this is only for campers and outside visitors cannot come in unless they have a code. I also wanted to let you know that there's no fires after 11 p.m. Also, no generator use is permitted. Quiet hours are from 10 p.m. until 8 a.m. The site here is site 12. So this one's a little smaller. Still fits a nice RV size.
pricing for cabin rental is $75 weekdays, $100 is for weekends with a $100 deposit. Cabins sleep five, which can be rented out. The campground only has one cabin with double bed, two fold-out sleeping cots, a full kitchen, a table and chairs, and bathroom and a porch, a fire ring and a picnic table just located outside the cabin. That's nice. It has a dishwashing station there. Uh, that's right next to the restroom and showers. While you're camping, you might want to check out some of the attractions nearby. Of course, fishing or hike the nature trails is one of the best things. Or just visit Rancho Guajome Adobe House or the Antique Gas and Steam Engine Museum or just take a tour to the historic San Luis Rey Mission or just spend the day at Oceanside Beach. It's Interested in getting a book to read? I really enjoy the park and campground. The nature trails were wonderful and the lake and nearby pond added to the overall nature experience. The campground was well maintained with RV hookups available on each site. Each site was well maintained clean and well-maintained picnic tables and fire pits. Restrooms were very clean, incredibly tranquil park, and the campground fairly close to Oceanside and Vista, California. RV spots were not bunched together, very friendly park rangers. So I strongly recommend this place. And if you want a quiet getaway, lots to do and places to explore. You can bike around the lake and hike, uh, also, nature trails, pond, and lake to go fishing, but no boats or swimming is allowed here. The lake and pond are bird watchers' favorites. <laughs> 